Welcome to On The Line. Today, I am joined by a rising contender in the UFC bantamweight division. He is Marab the Velavishi. We're taping this about in the middle of August, even though we're releasing this, you know, the week before your fight. But like a week ago, you're in the middle of a wrestling tournament, dude. Like, you really are the machine. <laughs> yeah, I like to be busy, you know? Yeah, for sure. How, did you did you even uh, come close to losing any time whatsoever? Man, I'm ready for competition. I love comp compet. You know, Aljo told me to he was he was gonna wrestling, and I said, "Can I wrestling?" Yeah, he said, "Yeah, you can." Yeah, it's it's open, open, open competition. And I said, "Yeah, let me jump in." And it's crazy. The first time I did wrestling tournament, I I, I got gold. So <laughs> living up. Like, yeah. <laughs> so um watching the fights watching all your fights i mean you literally are a machine you live up to the nickname how did you get it like where did the nickname come from yeah so it's from my gym uh first uh, uh met uh, steamroller met Prevola. he he called me the machine and everybody love it and uh and everybody keep calling me machine because i i like to i guess i like to work and i like to just work and that's that's why Okay. All right. So is it true that when you first came to America, you were training with a bunch of girls? Yeah. The old lady, you know, <laughs> you know they was cutting weight and I was training one of those like um, fitness gym and punching bags. And they, the coach was like, um, he was training girls like for losing weight. And I, I, you know, like I wasn't getting good, good training because I need the training partners. I need the you know, I need the sparring partners. I need the wrestlers. I need the the guys like my level. You know, and, and, and yeah, that's true. <laughs> did you learn anything from? Did you take anything away from training? No, oh, no. I was that time. I was very depressed because I came to America here in the USA, and uh, I was thinking to get a great training, better training, and uh, like to uh, my dream was UFC, and uh, I was I was getting the worst training. I said. I was training better in my country. Why I come here? Huh? <laughs> did you, uh, so like how long did you train with them before you switched over? Uh, I lose there like nine months. And uh, after I, Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I find them my, my best team, Sarah Longo team. And I, I since then I'm with them and I training them. <laughs> All right. So real shit though, like you're preparing for probably the biggest fight of your career so far. You're fighting a killer, fighting Marlon Moraes. He's knocked out your training partner, Aljo. Is this like, how do you feel going into it? Feel like this is the time you get that first to, uh, finish in the UFC? Hey man, I'm ready. Doesn't matter what. Uh, decision wins, finish, I'm ready. You know, uh, I just want to win. Doesn't matter. I said, other other day, no one judge winner. You know, as long as he winning, just no one. And uh, Marlon Morales is top. You know, he uh, he we all know him. Yeah, he 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 win against uh, Jose Aldo. You know, and uh, yeah, I'm ready for war, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a good show. So one thing you're notorious for is like you'll be you'll be tra trading shots in the pocket and you'll smile and like come on bring more. Are you gonna do that when he throws that head kick at your face? You're like come on bring me another. <laughs> <laughs> First round I'll be smart. <laughs> okay. And I go crazy. You know? All right, I like I like the plan. I like the plan. So that was I remember that was one thing I remember. I'd watch that in the Cody Stammen fight and I watched back your other fights. You do the same thing. Have you ever been cracked? And you're like, all right, I gotta make it seem like I'm not cracking. You're like, come on, hit me more. But you're really in the head. You're like, dude, he just got the, he just killed me there. <laughs> That's my style. I like to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. And so let's say uh, next week you win. Is the call out gonna be Sean O'Malley again? I know you've been trying to get him since like 2018. Yes, you're right. So <laughs> no, because who I it's gonna be my seventh win in UFC, which is. Um, seven straight win you know and um, and I'm not chasing title because Aljo is champion and I know he will be long time champion I'm not I'm not thinking about title anytime soon so and yeah I want to like um, money fights you know I want to money fight like Sugar Shonomali every time he fights he's getting bonus so I want a bonus to <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's actually a risky fight for me because he's good striker and uh, uh, 
uh, and then I'm ranked. So he's not ranked yet. And uh, of course, uh, it's it's good fight for him. You know, if he beat me, he's gonna be ranked. So and um, but you know, but I, I want I like challenge. I like fights. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I I want to fight with him now because of I'm I'm front of him. I still want to fight with him because it's it's gonna be good fight. You know, I believe this. Anyone else in the head for your call out, or is it just gonna be Sugar Sean? Yeah, or I said <laughs> money fight. Money like, fight, money fight. Maybe 55, 45, I go up, you know, you know uh, upper weight class, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh, upper <laughs> weight class. Okay. Uh, another thing, too, is you, one of your only losses in UFC was to Ricky Simone. And I know he's not ranked, but is there a part of you that just like, I want to go beat this guy. I need to avenge that loss. Yeah. I was, <laughs> I was calling him out a long time and I want to rematch back. But, and like, yeah, I mean, he, uh, now it doesn't make sense, you know, like everybody knows that I, I was winning this fight and everybody see what happened. So, and I'm, I don't know, I, I lose interest to fight with him anymore. So this time, you know, if UFC offer me, of course, I will, I will fight, no problem. But now there is uh, so many good guys. Or money fights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All about the money fights. You almost yeah. risked some of your money fights. So you dove head first into a frozen pond. Dove in any ponds lately? <laughs> Come on, everybody. <laughs> crazy. That, that was my like crazy mistake. Nah, you know, I, I did I did mistakes before like so many times. But that that time I recall and then I don't hide it, you know. I I know I know if I post this, a lot of people will call me stupid, but I said don't worry about it. This is me. This is my life. You know, I'm not hiding nothing. So is there, have you done something like that then before? Is that not the first time? No, uh, man, I, I from, I coming from Georgia, you know, my country always, <laughs> kid was doing stupid things, like <laughs> always risky, always like doing crazy things. That, like, because they were kid, kids, that's what, that's how we have a fun, you know, like this, like, <laughs> like things like this but now i'm older i'm smart i know i'm making you know like every time you know i'm making you know i'm uh yeah every time i fight I, they pay me good so like i should be more smart you know so when you're running now and you see a pond are you like double fat are you like maybe thinking <laughs> to yourself like maybe i shouldn't do this again yeah uh no uh you know every, no. whatever i did i'm not I'm not worried about, you know, like to just, I, I look positive, you know, I, I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Are you guys actively trying to troll all of like all the MMA fans, Peter Yan, all of them by doing all the pictures with uh, Aljo's belt? Cause it's working. In. Are you guys actively trying to like piss off like uh, MMA fans and Peter Yan by p- posting all the pictures of Aljo and his belt? No, no. Okay. Okay. No. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Yeah. So okay. what happened was so no, no, no. What happened was uh, so we all know what happened. I'll just fight and um, and yeah, you know. Uh, okay, after this, I'll just came home and we the friends, family. We was waiting for home and then Aljo was very sad and the, the, we make sure he was okay. You know, like. Uh, the, but he wasn't okay like he was throwing up and he has a concussion whatever so and then of course me as a friend and training partner and uh, and the family Aldo always been champion for me you know and then he's he deserved to be champion you know he should be champion when he choking choke uh, Cody Sahagan so and uh, and uh, of course I, I was proud of him and I take picture with him and then and uh, I I posted my yeah for for me like for my my social media so and then that's where everybody goes crazy and nobody likes it but um, okay and after Aljo Aljo get so much uh, there was people was talking so much shit about Aljo which is Aljo don't deserve it you know the mm. uh, the Peter was who break the rules and he did very bad things you know so and um, and uh, okay and after. Because Aljo was, I mean, everybody was attacking Aljo and everybody talking shit about Aljo. Even some some 
journalists, some MMA people, and like, okay, I understand little kids from Russia, and they put maybe money for Peter, and uh, they lost money, or like they, of course, they, they, you know, Russians is different, you know. <laughs> of course, they, they, I, I understand they go mad, but um, the people who understand MMA, who knows the rules, and who, who loves sport, they should know, and they should, they should. Uh, be more smart about it, but like some people were still uh, talking shit because Aljo, I, I post picture with Aljo with the belt. So, okay. And after this, Aljo said, fuck it, I'm a champion. You know, I said, I'm going to take pictures and I'm going to enjoy it. He's, he's doing the right thing. You know, he's a real champion now and then he's enjoying his time and he's going to win again uh, October 30th and uh, he's going to defend his belt and then like no, we're not making nobody nobody mad or like this, you know, like Aljo has a belt, he's champion right now, and then we all enjoy. Oh yeah, I like the love it, love it, love it. So you got let's just go. I have some really stupid questions I'm gonna ask you. Go ahead and answer okay. that any way you want. So you're from Georgia. There's another pretty big guy now from Georgia fighter wise, and that's Giga Chikaze. Who'd win in a fight? You or Giga? <laughs> Giga, Giga, Giga is a big guy. You know, he's 145 and he's he's good striker. He's former glory fighter and uh, yeah, you know. But but you know MMA. Okay, Giga can beat me, but you know we are from Georgia. We're brothers and uh, we not fighting each other. You know? No, like, never. We, It'll never happen. It's just a hypothetical. Never. Yeah. So just I a think, hypothetical. Yeah. All right. So next one. What's the worst job you had before you went pro last year? Worst, what? So like job? the worst job you you were doing while you're working to become a professional fighter. Like I know you used to work construction. Like what was yeah. the worst one? Yeah, construction. I have fun when I was construction. It was fun because I was um, uh, busy and building houses. And uh, uh, you know, when I see after I build something or I pick something, I was happy and I was proud of myself. And uh, I learned lots of things. Uh, construction and I was joking with uh, my workers and uh, it was fun but uh, I was working a little bit moving company like uh, moving like uh, uh, couches like and when they sell you have to bring them home that was worse man like, you have to wake up like 4 a.m and uh, you're working all day and finish maybe 11 and then next day you gotta wake up and uh, it's like crazy I don't like people when people give you tips and then look them like, you know, I don't like this. You know, I'm not, I grow up different, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know exactly <laughs> yeah. what you mean, yeah. <laughs> yes. And then, uh, yeah, you have to make some tips and nobody gives you tips and uh, it's crazy. And it's small money and uh, hard work. And also I was working at a, another movie company called PC Richard. And they, uh, all these big refrigerators, you got to, sometimes door is small. When in you know, the house, the door is small, you got to take door out. You got to take refrigerators door out handles everything food picks you know like and then you gotta take old one out you know pull a truck and you don't have rooms there it's that was like the worst <laughs> that was, and then and then every time i was working there never that day missed training you know but construction i was still able to train it you know work daytime and the nighttime let's go work you know let's go training and you know i, I still have the energy uh like Winter was worse because working outside, it was a little bit prison, but I was still able to train. See, I, I found that shocking. I thought the construction would have been like kind of a pain in the ass because of like all the labor and stuff, but it sounds like it was not that bad. So next question, uh, would you rather finish a fight or break your takedown record again? <laughs> yeah, finish the fight. It would be fun. Finish? You want to finish? All right. All right. Would you rather do a knockout or sub? Uh, either way either way either way yeah. all right all right um could you beat up your favorite movie character rambo uh 100 of course he's, he's not real i'm real <laughs> <laughs> all right then uh, i know growing up you got in a lot of fights before you went pro did you ever lose a fight like uh like like, like kids a, like, like kids like, oh kids no, I never get beat up. Like, you know, street fights, how it's happened. Like, it's like, it's it's only one minute or something. Like, like longest, it's, I don't know. And then, you know how it's happened? Every time I was, 
if something was going in close to fight, I was the one that who was punching first. And like, and after people jump in, or I was going crazy, like, and then like, you know, like, yeah, I, I yeah, I, no, never, uh, never got beat up in the street fights. And you know, like even, uh, even a couple of times, I was beating with uh, three, three other kids, but you know, I was always fight and um, like never give up. And you know, like if you fight with a lot of people, you gotta fight hard. You know, you gotta punch somebody and then no take down shit. You know, if, if you take down somebody, they can beat you from the back or they take you down. So no punch. If somebody goes down, don't, 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 don't follow him. You know, you gotta get one you once you punch somebody, you gotta you gotta be ready for next one. The next one, you gotta be just being like this. <laughs> yeah, you always be ready. Undefeated in the streets. That's what we can say. Undefeated in the streets. So. We got the fight next week. How's it? How are you gonna finish it? How's it gonna go? Give us your official prediction. Yeah, so I'm ready for everything, man. I'm just, I just wanna win, and uh, I respect Marlon Morales, um, uh, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fight hard and um, whatever. It's gonna be finish or decision. I'm ready for war. I know it's not gonna be easy, but I'm ready for this. Oh yeah, hell yeah! Anything you want to promote? Go ahead. Um, nothing really. Um, just I have a, a great team, Sarah Longo, and I want to tell them to thank you so much for all the help and support. And uh, um, yeah, that's all. All right, love to hear it. Watches our boy Marab gets a W next week against Marlon Marias. For me, for Marab, we're out. Peace. Boom, boom.